hi, my name is Melanie Ellis. Um, the disposition that I possess in order to make me a successful teacher, I believe is that educators should believe all students can learn and should set and support realistic expectations for student success. Um, this is something that really applies to the position that I have. I'm currently a severely handicapped autism teacher for grades third through fifth. And um, there's no one size fits all for my students. So it's really important for me to be able to learn about each kid individually, set goals for them, objectives for them, and be able to support them learning. Um, this requires me to get to know the students quite a bit because no one student learns the same and um, not every goal will apply to the same student. It's really a student-based program. So I feel like I really thrive in this because um, I differentiate instruction in order to help meet each student's need and what they're going to need in their life uh, based on what their strengths are. We use those and as well as what they need a little bit of help in and how we can challenge them in order to continue grow for what they're going to need in their life. Um, I also believe that I demonstrate professionalism, friendliness, and warm, genuine caring with my relationships with other um, while providing intellectual, emotional, and spiritual support. So I have a really good, strong team at my this, uh, my, excuse me, my site. We're a very close knit team. We support each other. We help each other. We cry together sometimes because you know that has to happen. Um, but we're there for one another and I enjoy being there with them as well as them with me because we learn and grow together. There's no other way to do it uh, in this field. So the other part that the need to work on and grow as an educator, I feel, is that teachers understand the effect of community involvement and servant leadership as it applies to the welfare of others in the educational setting. Uh, this past year was my third year teaching at this school. Yes, third year teaching at this school. And um, it was my first year being on the leadership team. So this really helped me grow and develop as a teacher, as a team leader, as well as expand my knowledge for my position. But in regards to community involvement, I feel like I struggle a little bit. I know this last year was different with distance learning, but my very first year of teaching, I was very nervous and had a really bad parent experience. So I've kind of been very hesitant with um, parent involvement and I've been a little bit nervous there, but I've been able to get a lot of support and guidance. And thankfully this last year I had really strong very helpful parents and understanding parents, um, and I really want to involve them more as well as get my kids involved in their community more because I think it is truly important. Um, it's what the kids need and it's whatever's going to help the kids. So there's no way for me to be able to help them alone. The parents are part of the team. So I feel like getting the community involved, getting the parents involved, and the kids involved in their community is a great thing that is going to help the kiddos in their educational journey. Um, what does a professional educator look like and how do they behave? To me, model is key for teachers. Um, kids are always watching, even when you don't think they are. So to be able to model behaviors that you expect in the classroom, as well as outside the classroom, whatever you want to um, the kids to do, what you would expect them to do is how you should behave and act on campus. Um, I feel like evolving as a teacher is truly important. Um, I knew a lot of teachers growing up that basically just kept their lessons locked away in a cabinet and this day was brought out. These were the lessons and they just did the same thing over and over and over again. And like I said, I don't feel like that applies to my position, which is why I think it's one of my strengths is that it should be student-based. Um, so to be able to involve lessons and your teaching methods um, the kids' needs obviously have to be first. Uh, their objectives need to be first because the classroom is there to help them be able to be successful and grow in their education. So it's important to get to know each kid, find ways to relate to them. What do they like? Um, for example, I have a student who loves the Avengers. So any way I want to get him to do anything is I have to bring up something Avengers, Avengers stories, Avengers token boards, um, reinforcement, anything like that. And again, just to team up with parents and service providers, uh, we're all a team. So in order to best help the student, this is really important. And I believe that the standards to guide thinking and action should just go back to that kids being the best interest. Um, we need to grow together and evolve lessons to best help the kids because that is what the classroom is for, is for them to grow and learn 
And in order for them to do that, we have to put what is in the best interest for them first. Um, so to be able to develop my teaching in order to help them, however, helps them best. Thank you.